Hey, what's going on? It's Glendon Cameron, and this is Disruptive Money. What I'm gonna do is put the how to use an LLC to shield your money here in this section. All right, so let's just jump into it. You got a situation. You've got creditors, maybe you've got a baby's mama. I hate that term, but everyone knows what I mean when I say it, so it's applicable. This is what you do. You've got a few states. You have New Mexico, you have Wyoming, and they have what's called blind LLCs. Due to state law, no one knows who owns these LLCs. So what you have to do, you have to fly to, man to, man to New Mexico. What you do is you go to their website and you get all the paperwork and stuff and you file before you go. You get your LLC. Now the thing is, you're gonna need a New Mexico address. Um, maybe you can do this over the phone. I'll do a little checking and I'll get back to you. But fly there, you know, once your LLC is organized and you, ha you may have to fly there to get an address. I suggest a UPS box or one of those corporate rentals. There's places that you can just rent a mailbox for 40, 50 bucks a month, something like that. Then you set up, you, another reason you have to fly there is you have to set up your banking. You have to do that in person. You have to sign paperwork. So essentially, this is for an internet business. This is for a Shopify store, eBay store, Amazon store, so whatever. And it's just strictly your corporate structure. Now this is the method that you can do by yourself. And I'm gonna teach you a different method you can do if you have people in your life you trust. Well, essentially, no one knows who owns this LLC. And what you have to do is do a DBA. So when you sign up for Amazon or Shopify, whatever, you have to have that. It's like, this is the parent corporation. And to see the DBAs online are so easy because you can go ahead and say, hey, I have my parent corporation, Cameron Glendon Inc. or Cameron Glendon LLC. And then you can go in your PayPal account or your eBay account and put, oh yeah, this is the name of the company. That's a DBA. And what they're going to do is and since the EIN is attached to the LLC, that's what the tax uh, situation is going to be. Now, this is drastic. It's going to cost you about 1500 bucks. But if you're in a situation where you have creditors coming after you, you have judgments, essentially any money that you put in the bank, they're going to take. Uh, if you have a job, they're going to garnish your, your check. As long as they have your social security number, they're going to be able to take your money. Now, don't worry about giving your social security to get your EIN. You use your social to get your EIN. You create a new number that can be traced back to you, but all of these outside people, they can't get at it. And it's a new entity. It's very important that this is a new and wholly separate entity. Now, that's one of the ways that you can protect yourself. Now, I'm going to teach you what I do. Cameron Stroh Media is the parent corp for Mac Daddy Media LLC. Now, Cameron Stroh Media is owned by my daughter. And then Mac Daddy Media is owned by my daughter and I don't have a 5% ownership. And that's strictly for the banking because the way that the banking is, you must have an officer of the corporation to set up banking. Now, you can no longer do, quote, a manager unless it's a huge, huge corporation. So essentially, I can have, uh, this company can make as what, uh, however much money it needs. And I don't have creditors, but you know, my story is we had an agreement for joint custody. She did not want to adhere to it. She just took Madison, left out the state and did what she wanted with her. But she came after me immediately for child support, which I got dismissed. Now, I am no fool. I know that she's stalking my social media and I know that She's going to try to come again. So let's just fast forward. She gets me served. And then they asked me for, you know, once again, she's had to properly get me served because New York has no jurisdiction over me. So that's another tricky issue. But let's just say she gets me served. Then we get into the financials. Mr. Cameron, what do you own? Now, 2004 uh, Audi. All right, what are your assets? Uh, my girlfriend, she's pretty nice to me. She lets me live with her. She makes six figures. So you're saying you have no money? Nope. Well, I have something that I'm working on with my daughter, but it's made no money. So, you know, we're still working on it. Mr. Cameron, you need to get a job. You need to minimum 100 bucks a month. 
And that's the worst case scenario if she gets me served because I have money protected by an LLC. And this is what's called prophylactic protection because my first goal was to get Madison, but that didn't work because her mother portrayed me as an abuser and they just ignored my evidence, but took her hearsay evidence. And I did file an ethics complaint about that. And I think I got one of them fired. But for you, this is very, very powerful stuff because it allows you to live your life. It allows you to make money. The average man who's under the burden of child support obligations, uh, creditors, you're just under this cloud of stuff and you can't make any money because if you make any money, then they're going to take it. So what's the point in making money? Other day, I heard the story of this man who's broken. He used to make $150,000 a year and he lost that job. He's not made even close. He hadn't even made a third of that. And his ex-wife, who's my friend, is just climbing, climbing. I mean, she's going to probably be making 300 grand. And he is just so broken because he can't do anything. I want you guys to understand that in life, you need to be happy. Happiness is a rare byproduct of action. And there are many forces and factors due to the lack of education that many people are unhappy because they feel that they must submit to the pressure and must submit to the burden of obligations. If you got the obligations, you want to pay them, fine, pay them. But if you are in a situation where paying them means you don't have a place to stay, there, there's just no options there. And these devices and tools under the legal framework of an LLC can protect your money while you get yourself together. Because if I did not know this stuff and I did not deploy this stuff and I did not use this stuff, I would be some bum up in the apartment trying not to make some money because I don't want to give her anything. But because I know how the United States works, I know the legal framework of an LLC and the provisions and the protections. I know I can make a hundred million a year and she couldn't get at it. Do you understand how powerful that is? So that's the framework. If you need more, just uh, holler at Patty and say, look, I'm in the super credit bundle and I want access to fat cat secrets. What she will do will, you know, uh, I will do some kind of deal for you folks. Don't know what it is yet, but it will not be the current price. And you've got to ask for it because I'm not putting it out here for folks who don't want it and for folks who don't need it. So once again, email Patty. And it's at hustlers kung fu customer service at gmail.com saying I want the super bundle fat cat secrets deal. And it's very powerful information. Stuff's gonna help you, it can change your life. All right. I'll see you guys in the next section of this bundle.